International Alerts has worked in Liberia since 1993, uh, and the work that we do there is, is very varied, but what it's all about is building peace. And what that means is that we create space for dialogue, we create space uh, for mutual understanding, and we seek to cross uh, boundaries that divide people. what we did. We just did it because we were inspired and we were desperate for peace. So if you saw the action in Ghana, that shows you a clear picture what kind of women we, are, we were at that point. Today, um, what, what role do women have uh, in their communities? Perhaps some of the women that were at the fish market. What do they think it's over, it's done? I can tell you today that even if you cannot speak good English in Liberia, but being a woman you have a respect and you have some attention because the men of Liberia realize that the women got power. In the film, you see an amazing uh, relationship, the sisterhood between the, the Christian and the Muslim women. Um, and I wondered if that relationship is still ongoing today and whether that kind of kindred, the spirit, is going to continue throughout the country. You'll be surprised for don't I also exist between Christian men and Muslim men. <laughs> Yes, because uh, they are using the, the, the best practice from the women. On Liberia have never had a religious war before, but it's just that it was the first time for Christian and Muslim to come together, to work together in one interest. President of Liberia, Madam Sedi, is serving as a role model for every woman in Liberia. Now women are seeing the need of empowering themselves. For me, it really helped to inspire me. Each time I watch the documentary, it wants me to go for more. And not only just advocating for peace, now we have peace. We should be advocating for more good things to come to Liberia, more assistance and more support. I think it comes down to uh, inequalities and power structures, which are the things that keep most underrepresented groups or minority groups in check. And I think that when you have the amount of force and violence um, ranged against you, that women often do, both uh, as groups and as individuals, it's very hard to have the strength or the courage. Uh, I mean, there are, there are often situations where men have been unable to change the situation with arms, and so women without arms, uh, you know, it's, it's a very difficult proposition, but it can happen, and that's the exception that proves the rule. What was the most memorable bit in the film for you? I really remember uh, the interviews, the ladies who were speaking, the passion and, and everything just was so there and I could really feel it coming through. So I will remember the, the eyes and the voices and the way they spoke. The other thing which is really interesting about this is that they used their female power. They basically showed that women can do politics and can, do, um, can run a country, uh, but only using uh, no, no violence basically and they won. So it gave me a lot of hope actually. <laughs>
And I just want to say thank you to International and Life for this screening. And I think um, they're in the right direction. And we need to continue to collaborate our efforts so that um, we'll be able to make the world, even if it's not, we cannot eradicate crime, you cannot change the whole world from violence, but you can help reduce all of these violence that is being caused worldwide. If you empower a woman, you liberate a country. Yeah. And that is an incredible thing uh, to take away from the season. So thank you so much.